In this lesson, we'll learn how to use Chem NMR in ChemDraw Professional. So using the Chem NMR, you can estimate and display proton and carbon 13 chemical shift for a selected molecule. So let's just come in and paste our previous structure, which we had from the template. Now, when you head over to preferences so you come to file and preferences and come to chem nmr you see this tab so the first one is your solvent so now the solvent is not user definable in chem nmr except by adding new custom shift correction data most spectra in the default chem nmr database are run in either dmso or chloroform but the database is intended to be solvent free I and mean, you can set one of these and you can also change the frequency and you can play around these as well so that is basically how you do chem and mr or you can set your preferences now chem and mr also estimates chemical shift for all hydrogen and carbon atoms so when you come to so after you select your molecule you can come to structure and you see predict the hydrogen shift and then the carbon 13 shift now following um an order it first identifies like the key substructures of the molecule and a substructure provides the base value for the estimated shift so for example if you have benzene um, benzene could be let's say the substructure for trinitrotoluene something like that and and when a substructure is a ring system not in chem draws database ChemDraw also approximates its base shift using embedded rings and if necessary will deassemble the ring into acyclic substructures. So it basically puts your structure into substructures that it can identify and apply the frequency to it. So let's just go ahead and select let's say hydrogen NMR and this gives us our our peaks so this is our hydrogen estimation so this is how our hydrogen will shift so we see our hydrogen shift in here and this is the peak so it says the estimation quality indicated if it's blue it means it's good or or rough or whatever so that is basically how you do it and it gives you the protocol so it tells you the solvent that we chose and also the frequency and as i showed you can go in and change that and it gives you all the information that you need the shift the nodes and all The resonant frequencies of the nuclei are then measured and converted into an NMR spectrum that displays all the right frequencies as peak on a graph. So you have this. The height of each peak represents the number of nuclei that resonate at each specific frequency. This is known as the intensity of the signal. So the more resonating nuclei the higher the frequency so yeah that is basically it you have up to so you have from 0 to 14 so yeah the higher it is the more it's resonating you can always go in and explore others so let's let's try again with carbon so let's do paste structure and carbon and that is also different so that gives us different intensities as well and gives us the shift that we need and gives us the comment 
as we also design so you can you can draw your own structures and play around them and yeah you can draw maybe just a regular benzene select and predict the carbon so it's just the same thing around it which is a nice way of testing to see if it if it works well so that will be it for chem and mr